When I was in school, I was taught that the brain is the master organ in the body. But what the new science is showing us is that the brain receives the instructions telling it what to do from our heart, the human heart. And this is a relatively new way for science to think about us and our relationship to our bodies. But what we now know is that the quality of emotions that we create within our heart determine the signal that we send to the brain to release the chemistry into our bodies. Every moment of every day, there's a conversation that is happening between our heart and our brain. It's the inner environment, thoughts, feelings, emotions, and beliefs we know can be either healing or toxic. Humans commonly believe that the brain is the center of thoughts and controls the entire body. It is responsible for thinking and understanding. On the other hand, the heart is crucial for maintaining blood supply throughout the body. It is vital for every organ to function correctly, and without it, the entire body of a human being could die. The heart is as important as the brain. But can the heart think or make decisions? Medical science doesn't have a clear explanation and is still researching this complex connection. However, the Quran contains verses suggesting that the human heart is involved in thinking. In this video, we will answer all your questions that are related to the human heart and that have already been answered in the light of the Holy Quran. Human heart makes good and bad decisions, and it is one of the miracles of the Holy Quran which shook medical science. Who controls human thoughts, the heart, or the brain? Allah Almighty says in Surah Al-Kaf, verse number 16, <laughs> Surely we have created man, and we know the promptings of his heart, and we are nearer to him than even his jugular vein. Quran 50.16 Although whispers are the thoughts which are the work of the brain, but Allah says that they are raised in the heart. Then Allah says that we are closer to man than the heart. The jugular vein here means the most important part of the human brain, which is directly connected to the brain and is aware of all human thoughts and whispers. Still, Allah says that he knows the whispers and thoughts in the human heart, but how can this be possible? Allah Almighty further says in Surah Al-Mulk, verse number 13. Whether you speak in secrecy or aloud, it is all the same to Allah. He even knows the secrets that lie hidden in the hearts of people. Quran 67-13 These verses of the Quran clearly show that the even human heart can think and can understand. Until now, medical science believed that the only work of the human heart is to pump blood into the body. But it is not like that, but recent research suggests otherwise. The human heart is seen as an independent and complete organ. The human heart is not exactly like our brain, but it has its own intelligence, Although the details and extent are not fully known yet, we are aware that it exists and even has its own memory. This is not only mentioned in the Quran, but is also clearly present in the saying of Prophet Muhammad Nu'man ibn Bashirin reported that Holy Prophet said in one of his hadiths, Beware, there is a piece of flesh in the body. If it becomes good, reformed, the whole body becomes good, but if it gets worse, the whole body gets worse, and that is the heart. Sahih al-Bukhari The small brain within the human heart consists of 40,000 nerve cells, the same kind found in our brain, sending messages through the nervous system. This is such an amazing discovery that has changed the view of entire medical science, 
A Canadian medical doctor, Dr. J. Andrew Amore, has introduced a new term called Nervous Neurocardiology. It focuses on studying the small brain in the heart in detail and exploring it further. In his logical explanation, he mentions that when a person signals to slow down the heartbeat, the heart reacts based on his will, not necessarily as expected. Sometimes the heart's reaction is opposite to the signal, and unlike the brain, we can't fully control it as we wish. Amazingly, 1400 years ago, in the Holy Quran, Allah conveyed the same concept, stating that the mind's responsibility and position aren't just in the brain, but also in the human heart. It is the place where the soul resides in the human body. Allah Almighty directs attention to the heart regarding thinking and understanding, leading some to mistakenly believe that the heart functions as the brain. However, spiritually, thinking and understanding are attributed to the heart, not physically. Physically, these functions belong to the brain. For instance, when Allah mentions that neglecting his remembrance turns the heart black and puts a seal on it, it symbolizes a spiritual state, emphasizing that while the heart works spiritually for thinking, understanding, and decision-making, the brain handles these functions physically. The heart is recognized as the center for negative thoughts and sins. As an example, when the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ was a child, Angel Gabriel washed his heart with water and returned it, symbolizing spiritual purification. The command of Allah holds significance because the soul is strictly connected to the human heart. In the Quran, Allah explains that during sleep, He takes control of people's souls. And when death is imminent, the soul resides in the spiritual realm. Until the appointed time of death, the soul is returned to the body every morning. The departure of the human soul from the body is linked to the heart, because the soul resides in the heart. The person is said to experience death when the soul leaves the heart. The small brain in the heart operates independently and can stay alive for a considerable time without signals from the brain, known as short-term or sometimes memory. This small brain not only stores information, but also has a sense of it. In our journey through growing medical and spiritual knowledge, we see the Quran's teachings aligning with scientific discoveries about the human heart. It shows us how complex and important the heart is, not just physically, but also spiritually. The human body's design, seen and unseen, physical and spiritual, is truly amazing. Both science and spirituality converge in understanding the heart's essence, urging us to think about the deep mysteries within us. If you seek peace for your mind and soul, Allah advises that true peace comes from remembering Him. May Allah grant us the understanding and ability to do good deeds,